the ANC is commemorating the life and times of struggle activist Solomon Kalushi Mahlangu. He was convicted of common purpose murder under the apartheid government and hanged back in 1979. Today's commemoration will include a visit to the Hosi Mamburu Correctional Center, this in Tswani. And this is where we find ENCS Kailisha Kumalo, who will give us an update of what to expect. Uh, colleague, Earlier on, you had mentioned that uh, some ANC bigwigs are expected to attain. Just remind us of some of the names which are expected to, of course, commemorate this day. Well, that's right, uh, Dumela. So we're expecting the likes of the ANC Treasurer General Paul Mashatile and, of course, the ANC Deputy Secretary General as well, Jesse Duarte. But in terms of the position where we're coming from, Dumela, it's quite a very symbolical sport. You know, there are about 52 steps that uh, the inmates had to undertake before they were hanged. So currently, we're just on step number 27, all the way starting from 1 to 52. So as I just walk up here once again, just to give you an idea of what's happening, you know, it was quite a very sad moment uh, for the likes of uh, Solomon Matlangu. So just a bit of a, a description there about his life and times. And of course, he fled South Africa in 1977 to receive a military training in Mozambique and also in uh, Swadini, as it's uh, currently known now. And uh, most importantly, I mean, uh, his name was just not only just uh, right known in South Africa, he was known across the region. When you look at Tanzania as well, the ANC had a college uh, that was named after him. So uh, it's, it was quite a very important time that uh, once again, 42 years uh, will mark this particular significant moment, especially because he was one of the young people to be hanged by the apartheid regime. So he really faced a lot of hardship, especially because alongside his mother, who was only serving as a domestic worker at the time, really his education was disrupted. He had to leave South Africa. And he was part of the June 16 detachment who uh, left the country following the June uh, 16, 1976 uprising in Soweto. So once again, I want to give you a sense. These are some of uh, the martyrs who died uh, for our freedom. Uh, just to give you some of the names, the likes of uh, Baden Goboga, Jim Ngotweni, Godula, uh, Gelem, and of course, Magadaza Magushe. And of course, there's uh, Solomon's image there, and his name really inscribed here for the posterity to have an idea that once upon a time, there was such a man who once graced our shores, especially because, you know, Dumelo, quite a number of challenges are facing his party. The issues like factionalism as well are so rife, and uh, we are still, as you can see the images here, you know, this is what they used to wear here. It's stored in this very historical place. And uh, just to give you an idea, you know, there's a nice chronology about how the prisoners will arrive here from 6.55, that's 5 to 7. So the prisoners will be lined up against the wall. The sheriff of the court, uh, of course, will be in this particular room. The warders will face the prisoners and uh, give them, of course, the white woods that they will wear uh, before they were hanged. Then they will be placed on the prisoners' heads uh, with the front flap folded back. And, of course, by 6.59, the sheriff will say in Afrikaans, Khan, that's go in English. And of course, the line of prisoners, each still firmly gripped by a warder led to the execution chamber. So it's quite a very important place uh, where we are to Melo. And of course, we're still ex expecting the family to come through. Uh, we're still keenly waiting for them. And of course, this is a culmination point where then uh, the inmates will be hanged. You can see the footprints are laid out quite uh, enormously here just to make sure that uh, then they had uh, their final moments. And uh, um, you can really just hear that sound uh, that uh, it was quite uh, a very sad moment because underneath here then you find a bathing tub. It's quite a massive bathing tub. So that's where the body will be taken. But of course, uh, during the course of the morning, uh, Dumelu will keep you posted about uh, the events today. Right.
Well, before I let you go, colleague, you know, we understand that um, obviously besides the ANC being there uh, commemorating today, laying off wreaths will take place. We know that the arts industry has also paid homage to Solomon Mahlang through a movie called Galushi. Um, how will the family be observing today? Do you have a sense of what exactly they plan to do to commemorate this day? So we do understand, Dumela, there will be a ritual that the family is going to perform. It's going to be a private affair. So like you just said, you know, the name Solomon Matlango really still echoes across South Africa and even beyond because, you know, that movie has done exceptionally well and it's backed quite a number of international awards even. But also, you know, you go to Durban, there's a massive road named after Solomon Matlango. And of course, here in Pretoria, in Mamelodi, just a few kilometers away from uh, Pretoria CBD, you do have a monument uh, that was erected in honor of Matlango. But this is always quite a very sad time for the family because they reminisce about the times uh, that they had with him, especially because Dumelo, he died at, at a very tender age of 23. And we know that he was one of the young people to be executed by the apartheid regime. But, you know, his name really did not uh, just vanish as it was. So he continued to serve as a source of inspiration. You know, you go back to the hashtag fees must fall protest in the tertiary institutions. Once again, the students were using his name as a rallying cry, pleading for the fees to be reduced. And unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. So mm. hence, we've seen again uh, skirmishes erupting in our institutions. All right, we'll leave it there. But colleague, we'll be sure to catch up with you for the rest of the commemoration activities. Thank you so much. That is Kailiche Kumar.